Hey everybody, CJ here with Muxboard, and today in the next few minutes we're going to talk about wiring Quick Connect E matches in parallel using the Quick Split 12P. In a previous video, we talked about how to wire Quick Connect E matches in series and how to use the Quick Split 4 and the Quick Split 12. But today's video, we're going to talk about parallel wiring and how to use the Quick Split 12P. So let's clear up some space and get started. Much like the other quick split boards, the QS12P also has the same gray spring connector and you're going to need a pigtail. So let's go ahead and get our pigtail connected and then we'll talk a little bit about series versus parallel wiring. Before we start connecting our E-matches, I do want to take a second to talk about the difference between series and parallel wiring. I don't want to get off on a long tangent, so I'll save that for another video. But I think it is worth mentioning that with the traditional quick split boards and the series configuration, there's only one electrical loop that goes to the firing system. In a parallel configuration, each E-match that's connected creates a separate loop that's connected to the firing system. One of the other things you're going to notice about the difference between the series boards and the parallel boards are the jumpers. In a series configuration, we only have one loop, so we need to keep that electrical loop intact and we use jumpers to fill in the openings. On a parallel board, since each E-match creates its own loop, there's no need for jumpers. I've got a bunch of Quick Connect E-matches here, so let's go ahead and get started wiring them in parallel. Now that we have 12 Quick Connect E-matches all wired in parallel, I think we can all agree that this is a lot faster than stripping and twisting and taping a bunch of electrical connections together. I also think it's worth mentioning that if this was a series configuration and there was any one single bad connection, that your firing system's continuity test would detect it. But since this is a parallel configuration and each E-match makes its own electrical loop, if any one of these E-matches is good, then the firing system will detect the whole circuit is good. The question you're probably asking yourself is, well, what if I don't need 12 E-matches connected in parallel? With the Quick Split 12P, you can connect anywhere from 2 to 12, like we showed here, in parallel. But I think it's worth noting that you need to contact your firing system manufacturer and verify how many E-matches you can fire in parallel with the system that you're using. Next, I want to show you what to do after the show is over.
wrap the pigtail around the notches and it's already attached and ready to go for next time. The last thing I want to mention about the Quick Split 12P is we do have a few accessories available. And if you would be interested, we've got these foam backers that can be applied to the back to protect the solder joints and keep this isolated from if you're using it on a metal, metal trailer or something like that. The other option we have is a 3D printed mounting base that you can attach your quick split to. And if you want the best protection, we've got a 3D printed uh, enclosure that you can put on top of it. So if you like Quick Connect E matches as much as I do, uh, I think that you're going to find that something in the Quick Split line, whether it's the Quick Split 12, the Quick Split 4, or the Quick Split 12P, is going to be a time saver and something that you're going to find very useful in the field. I know there's a lot of questions around series versus parallel wiring that's out there, and if you want to see a more in-depth video on that topic, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you found this video to be useful, I hope that you will hit the like button and also consider hitting the subscribe button because I'm going to be doing more videos like this, whether the videos are firing systems, e-matches, Muxboard products, uh, really anything electronics and fireworks related. If you did like this video and thought it was useful, go ahead and head over to Facebook and give Muxboard a like.